Oh, hello, friends. It's Rella B. It's Rella B. Are you ready to come and read with me? Well, first, we have to get our brains and our bodies ready. So let's go ahead and go outside for some stretching. Hi, friends. It's Rella B. Are you ready for story time with me? All right. Well, if you're new here, first, we have to get our brains and our bodies ready. Come on. Okay, so today we are just going to be getting our brains and bodies ready with some stretching. So we're going to stretch our arms all the way up, up, reach for the sky, and then we're going to stretch them out. How far wide can you reach? Whoa, that's pretty long arms, huh? Wiggle your fingertips, wiggle your fingertips, and then take those fingertips and touch your toes with straight legs. Can you do that? Can you touch your toes with straight legs? Oh, what if we bend our legs and touch our toes, touch our toes? Okay, now we're gonna get back up and we're going to stretch to the side. One arm over your head, stretch to the side. And then we're gonna do our other arm. Stretch to the side. It's almost like we're bending over like if we were a teapot, huh? I think that I'm a little teapot goes like this, but we're just taking our arm and stretching it over. Yes, stretch it over. Okay, and now we're going to stretch our legs. We're going to go out to the side and stretch. Stretch our leg out to the side. See, well, this leg is bent and this leg is straight. Stretch it out, all right? And we'll do it with the other leg. Bend this leg and keep this one straight and stretch it out. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, now let's try to do a squat. Squat. You can do a squat like this as if you were sitting or you can spread your legs a little bit further apart and you can do a squat like this and it's still sitting, whatever's easier for you is fine. Let's do five more squats, okay? One, two, three, four, five, yay! All right, we're gonna end with a big hug. Give yourself a big hug. All right, now let's go inside for the story time. All right, friends, you know what time it is. It's time for Rella's Riddle. If you're new here, this is gonna be how it works. I'm gonna give you three hints, and then I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to guess, okay? All right, hint number one. I have dark green, rough and bumpy skin. Do you know what I am? Hint number two. I am originally from Central America, and I have a large pit inside of me. Ooh, do you know what I am? Hint number three, I am the main ingredient that makes guacamole. Mmm, I love guacamole. Do you know what I am? Here's a hint. Awesome, if you guessed an avocado, then you would be correct. And today, we are gonna be reading a story about an avocado, but before we get into the story, let's learn how to say avocado in Spanish and in American Sign Language. If you wanted to sign avocado, you go like this. That's how you sign avocado. And if you want to say avocado in Spanish, you would say aguacate, aguacate. Isn't that awesome? Let's go ahead and get into the story time. Oh my goodness, guys, today we're gonna to be reading Andy's Pit. Look, he's such a cute little avocado. It's by Sarai Ramos and Anahi Echeviera. Andy's Pit. I woke up feeling empty. Something was missing in the pit of my stomach. My pit, it's gone! I cried out so the whole world would hear, Who took my pit? Why? Andy! Andy, the avocado, is that you? Asked Louie Lime. Louie Lime, it's me, Andy Avocado. I cried. Why are you crying, Andy? Asked Louie. My pit, it's gone. I need my pit. 
I said through tears. Listen, Andy, you may not have your pet, but you're still you, said Louie. Hey, let's see if Tony Tomato has anything to say about this. He's always on top of things, he said with enthusiasm. So Louie Lime led me down the granite counter to Tony Tomato, who was hanging out by the big red bull with his friends. Tony Tomato, exclaimed Louie Lime. Tony looked up and smiled. Louie and Andy, how are you? Not good, Tony. I woke up not myself this morning, I said sadly. It's his pit. Someone has taken it. Louie Lime whispered to Tony Tomato. Tony took a look at Andy. You do look a bit different, but you saw that gorgeous green coloring, said Tony. Hey, what do you know? I still have my gorgeous green coloring. Then Tony Tomato said, Let's go see what Ollie Onion has to say about it. Ollie gets himself mixed up in a lot of things. So, Louie, Tony, and I scooted over to Ollie's place. By the time I saw Ollie the Onion, I was a mess. I don't like to cry in public, but Ollie has that effect on me. I think it's because she's an onion. Greetings, friends. How are you doing? My poor pit is gone. Have you seen it? I asked. Ollie has not seen my pit either, but she quickly said, This is a job for salt and pepper. So, Louie, Tony, Ollie, and I headed over to the counter to see what was shaken at Salt and Pepper's house. Hey, Salt and Pepper. Ollie said, Have either of you seen Andy's pit? Someone took it, and well, now Andy is really, really sad. We did happen to see what could have been an avocado pit, said Pepper. I gasped. <gasps> Someone had taken my pit. Louie Lime had questions. At what time of day did you see the pit? Where exactly did you see the pit? Was the pit traveling alone? When you saw the pit, what were you thinking about? Enough with the questions, Alt said. Let's go ask Joey the Jalapeno Pepper what he knows. So Louie, Tony, Ollie, Salt and Pepper led me down the counter to see if Joey the Jalapeno Pepper knew anything about my missing pit. Joey Jalapeno was dancing around a bowl of salsa when he saw us. The whole gang is here. It's a party now. Stop the party. Joey, this is serious. I woke up this morning and my pit was gone. Now it feels like part of me is missing. Have you seen my pit? Oh, yes, I have. Everyone started talking at the same time. Who took it? Where's the pit? Can you help us get it back? Quiet! Shouted Joey Jalapeno. It's just that. I began. No talking, Andy. I will show you where your pit is, said Joey. Joey the jalapeno pointed to the window seal. This is an avocado plant. Isn't it beautiful? And it all started with your pit, said Joey as he pointed to where the pit once was. It really was a beautiful plant. I thought I was a not a real avocado if I didn't have my pit. You are an avocado with or without your pit. You are a fruit, healthy insides, dark green skin. Suddenly, I was not empty anymore. I felt very full. It's party time. Oh my goodness, guys, that was such a great story. Andy found out that even though he was missing something that felt like a big part of him, he was still him inside. Sometimes, do you feel like if you lose something that you feel empty or that you feel like Maybe you're not the same, but you are. You're still you, and it's okay. You know what time it is. It's time to find out our co-creators. Show us co-creators in the app. Tell me, tell me, tap, tap, tap. Hello, smartphone, tell me today. Did all our friends have fun and play? I hear my friends, Ron, Finley, Avery, and Jill had fun today. Won't you join me another day? 
Thank you so much for joining me on Reading with Rella B. I hope you had as much fun as I did today. You can find the book linked down below. And if you want to become a co-creator, you can check out the RellaBbooks.com Want to Participate tab. I also have a screen-free podcast if you would like to enjoy that on the go as well. Thanks again and toodles! Thank you.